Kapil Kothari. I think one of the points that Mudasir Mudasir Khan is making is, you know, this is going to open a Pandora's box. After all, the Places of Worship Act was passed uh, by Parliament. It was a law of Parliament. Uh, the BJP at that time uh, was in opposition. It had opposed the Places of Worship Act. Uh, which was enacted in 1991. Now that the BJP is in power and has a 300 plus majority, why not move an amendment to that in Parliament rather than going case by case and prolonging this whole fight between Hindu side and Muslim side? Because that's only going to uh, open up a Pandora's box, Swapnil. Yes, uh, Zaka, I think an amendment would be an easier way out. But uh, then, uh, you know, I believe uh, that to take out an amendment at this time, at this point in time, while this matter is sub judice and possibly a few others as well, uh, would perhaps uh, not, uh, bo uh, you know, bode well, uh, not only with the judiciary, but also people would be hesitant to vote on it. So I think until and unless all the cases are firmly decided and finally a quietus has been put on the issue in the courts, then I think you can put an amendment because otherwise what will happen is that the amendment, a proposed amendment itself will be challenged as unconstitutional, saying that you are trying to preempt the judicial order or the preempt the judiciary on that ground itself will be mm. thrown out. So, the, so apart from that, uh, now coming to the, uh, you know, if you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the 26-page orders, and uh, yeah. you know, it, it, it uh, Zaka, uh, uh, you know, I was there earlier also on the channel with Rizwan. I told that this will be the order, and uh, and the reason why I'm telling you is it's not, it's not some rocket science, it's not some legal uh, brilliance or anything of that sort. It's common first-year or third-year law student will tell you who's studying CPC. The code of civil procedure, we normally studied in the third year of the law, but when I did my three years of law practice, uh, you know, law school, but nowadays it's five years, I don't know what year they teach that. Mm. But nevertheless, you know, let me tell you that Order 7, Rule 11 is very specific, Zaka. You have to only see, and as per the several Supreme Court judgments, whether the averments made in the plaint, not on the merits and demerits, but whether the averments made in the plaint display a cause of action. If they do not, and if they come across as vexatious or figments of imagination, then the court is empowered very reluctantly also at that point in time after taking all points into consideration to then reject the plaint. So all of these things, whether the survey report, whether okay. there is photographic evidence, whether there is section 54 of the Evidence Act, all of those things are asta hai logo ki judi and all those things do not matter. What matters is a simple technical code of civil procedure point. On that point itself, the court has thrown it out. Then, Vakf, of course, it talked about Vakf fact. It Correct. said that the Vakf fact is not applicable because these are non-Muslims. Mm. So, they do not appeal. Secondly, nobody is challenging the ownership or questioning the ownership. It's Correct. only the questioning the right to pray. Now, on that footing itself, you know, the court has come to the conclusion that none of these operators are bar to filing a suit. Now, of course, when the suit goes on for trial and, you know, when the issues are framed on the 22nd of September and thereafter the evidence is that at that time, of course, both the sides can argue vigorously on all the points that you've raised. Even the places of worship act, you can argue at that time. I don't know how far that's going to hold good. But no, so I, I want to talk a little bit about that, Molly.